Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Castle in the Darkness, for the PC, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, you can get this game on Steam, and I never finished it, but I did play some of it. It's pretty good, if you're into Metroidvania-esque games with a little bit of old-school feel. So without further ado, let's get started! As you can tell, I put less than an hour into the game. Kingdom of Alexandria. Nothing to do with that city in ancient Egypt times. One dark and gloomy night, King Elmore the Two grew ill. Worried about her father, Princess Peach, I mean Isabel, had the royal guard ready to... Okay. The guards, not expecting anything more than a common illness, took their positions. When suddenly, Ellipsis. Armies of monsters attacked the castle! The Royal Guard tried to fight, but they were all defeated by the monsters. All but one. He just was late for guard duty, so he didn't die. Alright, so you can use... I believe X and C or X and Z are your buttons to use here. Uh, enter does nothing. Uh, space does nothing. You can hold escape to like exit the game. And as soon as you tab out, you can press P again to unpause. No, oh, I'll save you. Thank you, sir. I just got money from a random civilian. That is awesome. Hi. The sea has been overrun by monsters! Aw, you, you can't kill him. Oh, well, at least he got his pension. It is possible to climb some roofs. Probably just not this one yet. Yet, yeah, you will get abilities later, but for now, you're pretty much just killing enemies in the hopes of getting plenty of money. So your abilities are very basic for now. And right now your weapon is not very strong and it's very close range. Oh, that actually crumbled. Good thing I got out of there. It's up to save. Apparently you can get down to equip. So let's see what we got. I only have 4 HP. Attack and defense obviously at 1. You can view your items. I have no relics. No armor, no weapons, other than what I have, just guard stuff. Some enemy bullets can be hit back at them, don't forget! Well, some help you are. Somehow that did not kill her. Oh gee, don't tell me I have to reflect these projectiles. I feel like it should not be going that way, but fine. And now my HP goes up. Awesome. Alright, there could be some secrets as well you should look for. And you may not find them right away, but if you can, that's awesome. Hey Lucas from Mother 3. Pull jump when landing on breaking blocks to bounce higher. Oh? Oh, that, that's actually very convenient, rather than just trying to tap the jump button in time. Because you probably won't be able to. I don't remember if spikes are instant kill, so I'd rather not test that theory just yet. I wonder if it's like the Metroidvania games, or Metroidvania Castlevania games, where sometimes if you hit walls, you might be able to break them. I remember that was a thing. Okay, so if I go left, am I literally just going to... Oh, alright, well, I screwed that up. I forgot to hold the jump button. He told me that less than a minute ago, probably. So now I have to go all the way back. Oh, well. Free opportunity to make extra money. Like an extra, what, three bucks. Makes all the difference. Can't bounce the bones back at them. That's a giant frog. 
I just stab him right in the butt. Okay, frogs drop a lot of money. Hi. Some cracked blocks can only be broken while holding the Ares gauntlet. Well, I don't have such a thing, but I'll take your money. There. Now you can't afford food. I guess that's one of those things I can only break. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, you can't kill the chicken. So, obviously I need to come back here when I get the Ares Gauntlet. How does she know what, what an Ares Gauntlet is, anyway? Okay, I feel like it didn't, like, uh, screen wrap properly, but okay. Hi. Oh, this is an inn. I'd rather not spend money, thank you very much. We go this way. Hi. Some bosses have a weak spot, like their eyes or heads. I think I should go up here first. Ow! I took a lot of damage. Also, why would I go to, in to an inn if I can just heal by saving for free? Hi. Would you like to buy wrong sword for a hundred bucks? No. Oh, there's an owl. Alright, well. Oh, this must be a boss. Okay, I think I have to hit him in the head. Okay, maybe he's not a boss. Just rather like a mid-boss. Of course the phone rings right now, um, it just says incoming call. I guess it just hung up, because no other ring went through. Oh, there we go, he's dead. That's good. Oh, you had to stab a door to open it. Why does that skeleton have a shotgun? What is going on here? Also, that's the Ares Gauntlet. Hello. 50 coins. I have free money. You know what that means. We're gonna go back. See if that guy is respawned now. He's a zombie. Fair enough. Whoops. That all really messed me up. Yay! I, I got a new weapon. Oh, I didn't actually equip it. I should do that. Right or wrong, it's still an improvement. Is it, though? It's not an improvement, unless its range is better. Uh, you know what? I think its range is better. No, no that's not the house I want to go to. I think it's this one. There you go. That's how you be a proctologist in this game. Let me grab the money. But I did see another secret over here. Oh, yeah, the stab chest over them. Well, that was some easy money if I say so myself. I wonder if you screw this up, do the blocks respawn? Yes, okay, so it's not... Whoops! <laughs> oh my god, look at all the damage I took from walking into a frog. Oh, Kermit got nothing on that bloke. I suppose later on I'll be able to jump up there. Okay, he doesn't have anything to do. Alright. Guess I'll have to look for more stuff later. Random spike up there. Huh, it's like one of those Capcom things. That's cool, I guess. Why is there a pipe? Ouch. Okay, I'm 
wait for it to shoot. Okay, it's not that strong. Let me, let me check up here first. Before I go down up that Mario-esque pipe. Please let there be a save point nearby. Ah! The bird got me. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna retry. Apparently, it calculates the total amount of times you died. I've only died eight times in that previous save file. So I guess the tally's over. Apparently, there are steam achievements you can get for dying a lot of times. Do you really feel fulfilled by dying so much? A little bit of existential dread much? <laughs> I go through here, I'll be in much better shape. There, that skeleton didn't screw me over like last time. Let me just wait for the bird to get over here, and then it dies. Oh, I wanted the money. Locked by... Oh. don't have the key. Alright, I guess I have to go look for one. Great. Maybe it's over this way. Can we go over here first? Oh, oh dear. Why is Bubble Bobble here? Oh, it spits bubbles. Uh. Okay, this is not a hard boss. These bubbles don't even hurt you. I mean, his body still does, but still. Boom, we did it. That was not a hard boss at all. There's a save point over here, too. How convenient. Okay, that looks like some kind of clock tower ripoff. Okay, now they just added different enemies there. Alright, let's uh, go straight down. I can't believe they actually reused this attack. Oh, that's where they tell you not to go down these. You've unlocked Prologue in the Secrets menu. Oh, well that, that's cheeky. Wait a minute, let me go down that again, because... I'm gonna check to see if there was any, uh, hidden passage. No. Well, I guess if you really want the achievement so badly, you can just keep going down the pipe. Whoops, oh, okay. You can push crates by hitting them with your sword. Try it, okay. Very unpractical, but it works. Ooh, I want this. Okay. You gotta be really careful here that you don't go into these spikes. Loading? Oh, are we going to a different area? No, we're still in the clock tower, it seems, but I can't reach that. Why does this feel like Mega Man 2 reused assets, even though it's not? Oh, that's a bomb from Final Fantasy. Get in there. Oh, 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 all right. Well, that's a lot of health. <laughs> and that mouse does not have a lot of health. Okay, now I'm just going all over the place. Was that blue, Aramur? <laughs> huh. All right. 
still hear that guy whip even though he was not even on screen. I gotta remember, I can't stand up to him like this. Good, a save point. Some paintings can hint at secrets. Alright, well... Oh, hi. Okay, so he likes to throw bones, and apparently he, every time you hit him, jumps. Look at his teeth. He looks so tacky. And he's dead. Well, deader, because he's already a skeleton. Oh, there she is. No, no, she didn't go there. What am I talking about? Also, I didn't even explore the rest of the clock tower. I really should do that. Well, at least it actually is a clock tower, and I'm not calling it something it's not. That would make me look stupid. Yeah, pretty much explore the bottom path. What about the top path? I'm very intrigued right now. Maybe I'll get the ability to jump higher. I hope that's lying around somewhere. There's a lever. Oh god. Oh, oh, woohoo! Okay. Calm your jets now. Ah! Okay, I'm just doing this to make platforms appear. I do not have a key. Okay. Come back here later when you actually have a key. those blocks stay there. So I went this way for nothing. Don't I feel proud of myself. <laughs> so far this is a really good game. And well, I definitely will try to get as much done of it as possible. I'm not guaranteeing 100% it, but I will try. Hopefully I can get a weapon that does more than uh, one point of damage. Oh, geez, I'm over here. My name is Lonzo. I built the clock tower. Take this key. I no longer need it. Oh, I just got a clock tower key. How kind of you. Is that a good idea? Maybe now I can't get over there. Actually, I already couldn't. Wait, yes I could. Ugh. There used to be a mine east of here, but the lizard men took it over. That's a big ass chest. Again, now that I have a key, and watch now it turns out to be the wrong key. <laughs> Only 
one way to find out. Because I would like to not have to come back here again, unless I have to. And I probably will for some chests that were originally out of reach. That jump worries me every time, I swear. Like, like that jump over here. Like, I can't climb up this chain. That would make things a little too easy. At this point, I should be able to afford something else. Okay, looks like those blocks are still there. Nice. What's in here? Armor! I will equip it right now! Oh no! Is that Owl from Zelda? Okay. Those uh, cutters might be a little hard to predict. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa. Don't do go doing that Storm Eagle attack on me. Ooh, I managed to dodge that. I'm a bit surprised. And I killed the owl. Awesome. Oi! Oh, didn't die. You guys, I gotta fight it again? It escaped. Oh! Oh, okay. I guess there's no area over here. Huh. I thought there would be. I mean, I'm glad I got armor, but... Was it really worth it? Well, if I don't die so fast, then yes. So, maybe that boss was not necessary for any reason? Because I'm technically going back. Or maybe I needed to kill that boss for some reason. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I mean, if, if I am, I can always go back. I mean, you can't expect me to know where everything is if I never really finish this game before. Who knows, by the time you come, as I say, like, uh, oh, it was over here, I probably already recorded part two. And by then, might have already found it. I have a knack for that kind of stuff, you know. Now that I open the mine, I should be able to, uh, oh, still can't kill that jabroni. Does this count as a painting? I don't know. You know what? Come back down. Come on down, Mr. Froggy. Come on, you know you want to. Aw, you're no fun. Alright, what do you want, bub? I am the 100-year-old man. Uh, good for you. Frog is still a wuss. Warp points like this can be used to travel, but I don't know how. Maybe I need an item to activate those. Let's be on the lookout for one. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, wow, clever. Ha <laughs> yeah, that's right. Jerk. Oh, this does not remind me of Simon's Quest at all. Okay, next save point I find I'm ending the episode. So it looks like this one might be dragging on a little bit. But what do you think about this game overall? Would you definitely buy this on Steam? I think you should if you're into this kind of game. I know I'm glad I did. 
We're staying on the high path first. I'm waiting for my daughter, Sophia. I'm worried about her. I'm worried about what the other side of that door is. But I guess we can't always get what we want, now can we? Alright, I think now it's the time I end the episode, so in the next part, we will continue on, and maybe we'll find his daughter. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, I got a new item in my inventory. Probably just a trading card. See ya, everyone.